Hello everyone, my name is Herta Kangpeying and today we would be talking about approach to hemoptysis which is one of the clinical cases that we can encounter at a NAC OSCE station and so without wasting much time um, let's take a case scenario and um, try to address this. So our scenario reads you are asked to see a 40 year old male in the emergency room who has had two episodes of coughing up blood take a directed history to assess his condition so um in this scenario we identified this to be a history taking station and therefore we have eight minutes to take a history and answer follow-up questions if there are any and so the first one of the first things we want to know is to determine if our patient is stable enough to take a history or do we have to um, perform any resuscitation before we take a detailed history and so asking for your patient's vitals is very important if the patient is stable then we can go on to take a history in taking our history we want to earlier on and um, in the history distinguish between a respiratory tract and a GIT tract bleed and so asking important questions like whether the patient had a cough um, prior to the onset of bleeding or whether the patient vomited prior to the onset of bleeding are important and would direct our history earlier on and narrow down our differential diagnosis as well also asking about the volume of bleed would give us a good idea of the volume status and the need for resuscitation in the patient. And so um, asking questions such as whether the patient sees streaks of blood or whether the patient um, estimates the volume of bleeding to be up to a tablespoon or can of soda would help us to distinguish between moderate, severe bleeding. Also asking if the patient is bleeding elsewhere is very important. This is because this gives us a picture of a systemic cause of the disease rather than a localized um, cause of the disease. And also asking about um, recent, if this is a new symptom or if this is a chronic symptom will help us distinguish between acute or a chronic illness. It is also important to distinguish um, infections um, from other possible causes of hemoptysis by asking for constitutional symptoms. So is there any fever, any weight loss, any sputum production? If there is any sputum production, what is the volume of the sputum production? Is there any chest pain? Is there any difficulty bleeding? And it's also important to bear in mind that pulmonary embolism is a life-threatening emergency. And so it is important to rule out this um, earlier on in our history. And so asking about any risk of venous thromboembolism, any past um, history of it, any use of um, oral contraceptive if it's a female, I, it's very important. Malignancy is also um, a common cause of hemoptysis and asking patients about risk factors such as smoking, any personal history of cancer or occupational history that may predispose them to um, malignancy is important. Asking about travel history would help to rule out chronic causes of hemoptysis, um, one of which is TB and the possible exposures to contacts that may be a source of the infection. We also want to find out if the patient is on any anticoagulant. So after taking the history based on, um, based on our findings, we would be able to tailor our differential diagnosis to, to come up with an accurate diagnosis. But in this case, our differential diagnosis for a respiratory tract infection, when we have once we've confirmed that this is indeed hemoptysis, would be um a bronchitis, a pneumonia, a pulmonary embolism. It could also be um lung malignancy bronchiectasis, and then 
we can then tailor down based on our clinical history and um, physical examination to an accurate diagnosis. Thank you so much. I hope that this has been helpful and I wish you all the best in your exam.